。肺氣腫同支氣管炎呢一類呼吸道疾病，喺醫學上統稱為慢性阻塞性肺病。目前喺本國嘅相關患者就有近一百七十萬名。喺我哋嘅醫療系統入面，佔據住住院率最高嘅病症。咁我哋可以點樣防止患上呢一種嘅病症呢？喺今晚嘅健康與你，就讓我哋一齊嚟探討一下。七十三岁嘅 Jerry 患有慢性阻塞性肺病超过二十年，佢嘅肺功能不足正常人嘅两成，佢经常会感到呼吸困难，并需要喺生活上作出一定程度嘅调节嚟到适应。I would used to strategize avoiding hills, using the elevator, stairs were a challenge. Also, sometimes you're breathless just sitting at home. 慢性阻塞性肺病嘅病人係由於氣管以及肺泡內膜腫脹，導致氣道收窄而影響呼吸，而佢嘅主要成因則係同我哋嘅周遭環境同空氣有關。For instance, smoking is a risk factor. About 15% of smokers develop COPD. Bad air pollution is a major risk factor. In fact, in China. Uh, one in four Chinese uh, have COPD, not because they smoke, but because of air pollution in uh, places like Beijing and Shanghai. It's terrible. 医生又指，患有哮喘嘅病人，较正常人有多出一倍嘅机会患上呢一种病症，因此要注意适当地使用药物控制病情。So a lot of young people, even though they have asthma, don't use medications or avoid allergens. And so those people in their 40s and 50s are likely to get a COPD, and it will be a permanent lung damage. 咁虽然现今嘅医学未能够完全根治呢一种疾病，咁但系就能够透过药物将佢有效地控制。咁而饮食均衡，等身体吸收足够嘅抗氧化物，亦都可以有助避免患上呢一种疾病。而至于呼吸感到困难嘅人士，就应该尽快进行检查。COPD is more common in the Asian population than it is in the white. Population. It's very important for everyone to get tested if they're short of breath or have cough, because having shortness of breath is not natural. It's not part of the aging process. So if anybody's short of breath or they're coughing more than a few weeks at a time, go see your doctor and get a breathing test. 由於慢性阻塞性肺病同病人嘅遺傳基因有關。咁因此，省內現時就有一個新嘅血液測試服務。咁若然你嘅家人有呢一種病症嘅病歷，咁就可以進行血液檢驗，以便盡早發現。咁詳情咧，不妨向你嘅家庭醫生查詢。好啦，今日嘅健康原理就講到呢一度。